Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Last night on Linda Moulton Howe, she had a she had a run of about maybe 10 minutes. I'm not going to play the whole 10 minutes, but it was very, very interesting. And I'm going to like record a few minutes of what she said. I hope I'm in the right spot where I stopped it. But yeah, if after hearing what she has said, what the congressional people have said here in the United States, if they're telling you, if they are saying to you that other people, other life forms are interacting with the earth and have been for millions of years, millions of years, they've, they've always, it's always been, if you are not questioning how your eyes are, so how are you blind? Are you, are we blind? Your holy book says you walk through this life looking through a, a glass, a, 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 a like dim, you're, we're blind. Or all, all your religious rhetoric says we are walking through this life and we are blind, but are we blinded purposefully? Did someone create an atmosphere around us that we cannot see through? the veil okay i'm just gonna play her and then i'll get back to you hold on let me start it did say on the record that quote non-human biologics have been found close quote implying the u.s government has hard physical evidence of extraterrestrial biological entities perhaps both dead and alive and some perhaps biological and others artificial. A month later on July 28, 2023, I received a Proton Mail quote, Linda, there has been a large posting on the ATS above top secret website backing up David Grush's statements and claims. Then it was put on Reddit in the early morning of July 28, 2023 before it was taken down only three hours later. I got these screenshots before it was gone, close quote. Here's Reddit at 1.21 a.m. on July 28, 2023, where the red arrow is, quote. This is a comment on a YouTube video that was recently uploaded by a body language analyst looking for anomalies in David Grush's recent interview. The comment has since been deleted, but I did the service of collecting screenshots because I knew it wouldn't stay up. Many online sleuths believe the comment to have been made by Major General John A. Allen Jr., a U.S. Air Force Major General who serves as commander of the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center in San Antonio, Texas. The Mission Support Center's job is, quote, to ensure the Air Force and Space Force have the capable power projection platforms they need to execute their missions, close quote. I am sharing this content with you tonight without knowing for certain it's General Allen who did the Reddit posting. But here is the first of a series of 16 paragraphs on eight black and white screenshots that were briefly posted in the Reddit comments by a J. Allen after midnight on July 28, 2023, and taken down only three hours later. The Reddit comments begin, quote, as a current aero engineer for the U.S. Air Force, 26 years and still going, I can help you decode at least some of this. First, I know that Grush has only limited ability to talk about this subject. He did get clearance to speak to a certain extent, but he must withhold quite a bit in order to avoid very serious law violations. So expect him to be holding back some things he could say, and this also necessitates rephrasing on the fly language that he would normally use. Second, this retrieval program is real and is the most highly class. Yeah, even if you don't want to 
take on what is being said now in on social well this is social media it's, it's youtube if you are a religious person you cannot talk against this your bible is replete the bible the holy scriptures they are replete all books all books are replete with visitations and you know the wheel you know was it ezekiel that saw something spinning in the air and didn't somebody get into a spaceship and never died and left the earth you i mean the bible talks about this if you're not a christian if you're not a religious person you still want to reach for the, the the books the holy books and and read them because it's detailed in there that we are not alone even when they say that the sons of gods came down to the earth and mated with the females here on the earth it is throughout there is something happening that your mom and your dad didn't tell you about there is something there is another world there are worlds they are probably innumerable there are worlds and things happening around us that we don't see is our atmosphere blinding us is the sun that comes up in the morning does that blind us do you you think you are like seeing but are we really seeing or are we just having a snippet of what they want us to detect a lot has to be answered let me see if i can this program i can only tell you i was there on two occasions kind of happenstance and they are as real as the nose on your face. She's talking about aliens. Comments. Due to these persistent questions in response to my post, how am I able to talk about these things openly, including the project name and so forth? Also, why don't I come forward as well and prove it type of questions? Question on transmedium and multidimensional and so forth transmedium and interdimensional craft this question keeps repeating so let me explain transmedium craft and interdimensional very very basically and briefly transmedium means that they can operate in space earth gravity earth atmosphere and underwater without any problem space which is a vacuum and exposed to very hot and very cold temperatures depending on where the sun is, as well as very high levels of radiation and also subject to... Yeah, you can read as she goes along. What she said later on in her video is, we are, well, Earth people are in for a psychological shock because they're, you are going to hear more and more on this and you have to fix your brain, you have to adjust yourself for the psychological shock but but sometimes i don't believe that the earth has the eight billion people that they say it has sometimes i feel as though the world is occupied by people who are like drones just doing work and just getting paid and not even looking up don't care drones soulless people just a soulless people so when these things do happen and you are thinking oh everyone is going to come outside and they're going to be talking to their neighbors about it did you see and did you hear um you that may not happen that may not happen because people are not really people it's like you know when you when you're doing a movie and you have to hire people you know to, to walk around and extras you call them extras i think a lot of people here on the earth is just to fill it up and they're extras and they don't really care they do not really care so i'm going to finish up with this it's going on to 10 minutes of this so let me see what so I'm... they seem to be phased out of our physical dimension in some way because they don't immediately crash or explode doing this comments Furthermore, they then proceed to move at unbelievably high speed under the water, which is far more dense than atmosphere. Lastly, there are no discernible flight control surfaces on these craft, which are typically, but not in all cases, either a disc shape. A... Yeah, what she's saying is that the people, the, 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 the life forms visiting the earth, 
they're super smart, super smart. And our math, our physics, our everything is, 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 medi is mediocrity. We are being taught to not think. The way they teach us here on earth creates a lie. And, and we, we are living a lie. We are living a lie. That's basically what she's saying. Because if there are things moving at thousand miles an hour, you're going to see it. You know, but see, didn't your Bible say that things move in the twinkling of an eye, in the twinkling of an eye, there and not here, you know, everywhere. We have been dumbed down. They call it the fall, the fall. We have been dumbed down. But what I'm saying to you, and I'm getting off right now, what I'm saying to you is when these things are revealed and you do not have some sort of reaction to it, when it is being said that, we are being visited by aliens. The beer you're drinking, the, the combination was given to us by aliens. The watch that you have on, it, it, it wasn't even made here. It was made off world and, and you know, it, it's shipped here or whatever. When you are hearing these things and you do not have a reaction, what I am saying to you is you have to ask yourself, am I real? Like a real soul and a real human and a real person that was I created by the God of all gods? Am I real or am I memorized? Am I just AI? Am I just a, a, a drone? Am I just a, 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 a whatever, whatever, soulless? You have to, you're going to have, only you, it's a personal thing. You're going to have to ask yourself, am I real or am I memorized? Sure, Veronica.